guys, Rambo here, and um, I'm in my house. I know I'm vlogging. I didn't. I didn't want to go on my PlayStation right now. I just felt in a vlogging mood because I think I just needed to say this face to face with you guys. Now, first of all, um, this is another Walking Dead video, and I know I am harping on these, and it's it's really weird. I know, but please forgive me. Cause <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is cracking. Please forgive me, because I'm just saying right now, there's something I just needed to talk about, and uh, there's stuff I need to talk about for season six now, I just need to talk about it, and uh, there was this report I just saw a while ago, and I just need to talk about it. Now, if you haven't read the comic books before you watch the show, do not watch this video. Now, I'm going to try and keep my spoilers to a minimum, but... um. Probably I won't say anything that's big that might, like, freak people out. But I'm going to try and keep my spoilers to a minimum. All right, so uh, I'm going to stand up a little bit. So, uh, hi. You can see my sexy body right here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hope you guys like my uh, Matt Smith shirt. So uh, I really love Doctor Who, too. I know, this is, like, the weirdest shirt. I'm wearing Doctor Who talking about The Walking Dead. But okay, guys, we may have a weird situation going on. You guys have heard of Negan if you have read the comic books for The Walking Dead. They have been discussing who to cast for Negan for a while now since the group has arrived at Alexandria. Now, we have passed certain areas in the comic books, like in the series. We have passed volume 11 in the comic books from the series. We have passed volume 12. We're sort of in 13 right now. So, we're in 13. We're kind of like foreshadowing a lot of good stuff. You know, Pete just got killed. And everything's going smoothly, you know, Reg got killed, you know, everything's going smoothly right now. Now, I mean, except for Reg's death, that kind of sucks, but, um, we're in the volume 13 area, so we're doing good. But, I think you're rushing Negan too much, and what I mean is they got a cast member, or that's what they're saying. Now, I'm not sure if this is a hoax, they said it was confirmed, not sure if it's an April Fool's joke, because it's April Fool's Day today, guys. Yeah, I know, it's April already. Whoa! But okay, I don't know if this is an April Fool's joke, but they have said that Robert Pattinson, or Pattinson, I think it is, he is coming on as Negan from The Walking Dead. Now, if you guys don't know who Robert Pattinson is, which I'll be surprised if you guys don't know who it is, he is the guy who plays Edward Cullen in the Twilight series. Before I go on a full-scale rant by how much I hate this idea... First of all, let's talk about the history of Robert Pattinson, as us Americans have seen it. He was in Twilight. He was in Harry Potter, The Goblet of Fire, which basically made his career famous, rather than, uh, you know, rather than, uh, rather than, uh, you know, Twilight. Then he became Twilight. Then he became Edward Cullen. And when that, we hated him. So that's my big problem today. I don't know where they're getting these ideas. Now, first of all, there are some villains, in my opinion, that I think were a bit overlooked. Like, you know, like Joe from Season 4, who got his neck ripped out by Rick. He was a bit overlooked. Now, I think he said a lot of wise things while he during his short run. But, I am just, ju I am just, I don't know what to say right now. Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson, are you freaking me? They're getting people from the OC, like Tyrese were from the OC. We know not the OC, the uh, the Wire. They have uh, Bob was on the Wire, uh, Tyrese was on the Wire, and uh, Seth Gilliam, who plays Gabriel, he was on the Wire. He was a tough cop. Yeah, believe that. But now they're getting people from Twilight, like Rosita's from freaking Twilight. Okay, Rosita is from Twilight. Now get me wrong, Rosita's in Twilight. You know, she's that girl who sits with uh, Bella all the time. Yeah, that's her. So, Bella is, um, yeah, I don't know. He's playing Negan. Now, if you guys don't know who Negan is, which I bet a lot of you TV guys don't, Negan is the next big freaking villain. He is the governor. He is the next governor. He is ten times worse than the governor is. I'm not going to keep it to a minimum. He does a lot of bad things in his run during the comic books. I don't know why he's still alive in the comic books. It drives me nuts, but apparently, I don't know. But I'm not going to say anything. 
I am not going to say anything. But I think they're rushing Negan too much. Now, I'm not going to try and drag this because this is a vlog and it's not a video. And what I mean is, is that, guys, you're rushing Negan. Now, you're in a good place right now. You're right where we were in the comic books, okay, when we were in this area. Okay, Rick, you know, Rick just killed Pete, you know, Douglas is, or Deanna, is, the real name was Douglas, if you guys don't watch Talking Dead, or read the comic books, his name's Douglas in the comic books. But, um, yes, and also we lost, um, also, uh, for some reason, Glenn saved Nicholas, I don't know why that bastard's still alive, but... <coughs> <coughs> I would have popped three rounds in that dude's face, but okay. Let me get to it. Um, This season had its ups and downs. Now, first of all, I'm just going to say right now, I am done talking about season five. Now, I did forget to talk about Davidson. Davidson, if you guys haven't read the comic books, he was a guy who, he was once a very good man. He was once a very good man. He was a leader. He was Douglas's, Deanna's best friend. And they ended up, you know, he ended up making some bad choices. People died. He did some uh, favors, if you know what I'm getting at. And then um, Douglas murdered him. They think he's dead, but really, Douglas said, they exiled him. Now, Aaron was the one who said, we exiled a guy named Davidson. He was a very smart guy. You know, two men and one woman. Now... Is Davidson a part of the Wolves? We don't know that yet. Now, the Wolves are the main villains for Season 6 right now. Now, this may be like a Gareth-like thing, where he was just for like three episodes, and they're just going to kill him off. Now, that's what I think. Guys, let me just say this right now. Please do not skip anything. Don't rush Negan. If you rush Negan... And you're going to get to this place too quickly. We're going to have some issues. And by the, we, I mean the viewers. The viewers, the Walking Dead actual readers who take their time out of their day to read the comic books, they're going to have an issue. Because they're like, hey, this wasn't what we read. We want to see this on TV. Do not leave out. No way out. Please do not leave it out. And also, don't leave out Jesus. Not actual Jesus, but that's the dude's nickname. Paul. Don't leave out Paul. Don't leave out the. Don't leave out. Don't leave out the hilltop colony. But that. Well, that's what leads up to Negan anyway. If you show him at the end of the season, that would make sense. I would like that. But please, do not skip No Way Out. Now I have faith in Scott M. Gimple, and I have faith in all those people. But I just don't want them skipping No Way Out because I want to see that on TV. I want to see that recreated. And I want to see it done well because that is the epic, bloodiest comic you will ever see. You think that uh, Noah's death was bad? Wait till you see No Way Out on the comic books. You can read it. It is bad. Like, if you read the comic books, it is drastically different than the actual TV series. Because they couldn't do everything from the comic books because the comic books are too graphic. Or they would have gone on HBO, like Game of Thrones. Now, hope I'm glad Game of Thrones is coming back on. And also, Better Call Saul is ending, so that kind of sucks too, because I wanted to watch that. But back to the point. Do not rush Negan. Don't rush Negan. Okay, if you rush Negan, we're going to have issues, and then we're going to lose viewers. Because this show is running smooth right now. We're having a good storyline. Nor uh, Morgan showed up. Uh, Glenn and Nicholas, I don't know if they solved their little issue, but... I don't know if they did. If they did, then I guess that's great. I would have capped him three times, like I said before. But, um, but you know, I'm just saying right now, do not rush it. Don't. I mean, I can understand about the wolves. I don't freaking care what you do with the wolves. I want Rick to tear them apart like freaking wild dogs. But please don't rush it. Don't rush it. If we don't rush it, We'll be good. Same here. Okay. We have established that. Now, Robert Pattinson about Negan? I'm not sure. Hi, Kitty. I see Kitty in the background. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Named him after Sea Cock 97's cat. Hi, Jerry. What you doing? Hi. Okay, sorry. I want to see No Way Out created on TV. Recreated. I want to see it good. I want to see it comic book awesome. 
Now, I don't want to see what happens in No Way Out exactly happening, but hopefully we get a good, you know, representation of what's going on. Now, um, I'm not sure what's going on in comic book-wise. Now, we're in the storyline. Now, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the storyline. The Wolves, I'm not sure what they're going to do. There's probably going to be like a three-episode part where they're just going to kill them off and... Then we're basically, where's the new bad guy? Then we're probably, then that's probably where we run into Negan. And Negan, guys, I will warn you right now, if you read the comic books, he is a bigger monster than the Governor, Gareth, Joe, all of them combined. He is ten times worse than all of them combined are. Governor's my favorite villain, still is, but... He is a different story. Negan is a different story. But I don't know what his backstory is. Now, none of us comic book readers know what he went through, which he, I bet he probably went through a lot, because, and everyone knows he has the little baseball bat. Okay, I've kept my spoilers to a minimum, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't rush Negan Walking Dead showrunners. Runners, my bad. But, guys... Last time I'm talking about The Walking Dead, I promise you guys, unless there's something else that comes up, which I doubt. So, hopefully that works out. So, I will talk to you guys later. Walking Dead people, do not disappoint me. Robert Pattinson, if this is true, do not disappoint us viewers. Or we're probably going to try and organize a riot. So, we don't want to do that. Now, do we? Now, um... I'm not sure what we're going to do, so hopefully, hopefully it works out. So I'm hoping it works out. And I thought the prison was going to fall in Season 3, but it did in Season 4. So, okay, still going the same thing. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my last Walking Dead talk. For a long-ass time. Unless you want to see me on uh, Twitter. Because I like to ramble about it. Also, I made this joke about uh, Morgan the other day. Now, a lot of people have been referring him to Monotel Donatello from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I'm calling him Morda. You know, like Yoda? You know, he's kind of like Yoda. You know, he's just like, oh, you are promised what the forest you are. Yeah, that's kind of what he's reminding me of right now. So I called him Morda. If any of you guys got confused when I said hashtag Morda, I meant Yoda and Morgan together. Because, you know, Morgan's kind of like Yoda now. He's changed a lot. But okay, I could talk about Morgan any time of the day, but I don't really have that much time left because this has like three minutes and this thing has a time limit. I wish I had a better camera, but I can't use, but I have to use my phone. So yeah, my name's Ben Rambo, and this is my last Walking Dead talk for a while, unless you guys, unless uh, something good happens. Now, I don't know. Now, uh, okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. My name is Shishino's Rambo, and see ya. Peace out.